Hello, my friends. We had a good workout this morning with Miss Catherine, and she had us pretending to be frogs. And so I wanted to show us how big our tadpoles are now. Can you see them swimming at the top of the jar? And they are nibbling at the plantain herb. Isn't that amazing? So I have a book called The Tale of a Tadpole, and I thought it would be helpful to read it because then we could see a little more of what's going to happen to our tadpoles. The Tale of a Tadpole begins in a pond. Mother Frog lays her eggs next to a lily pad. Each tiny egg is wrapped in clear jelly. So there's the mother. There's the mother. And here are the eggs wrapped in jelly. Do you remember seeing that at the bottom of the jar when we first got our tadpole eggs? Inside the jelly, the eggs grow into tadpoles. They wriggle like worms. They push through the jelly and swim in the water. They breathe through gills just like fishes. Aren't those gills interesting looking? They look like coral to me. Many other animals live in the pond. Shiny goldfish and sticklebacks and great diving beetles. They chase the young tadpoles. Here's the goldfish, because it's gold. Here's the stickleback and the beetle. They chase the young tadpoles. I don't know if their intentions are honorable. A stickleback feels hungry. He opens his mouth wide. The little gray tadpoles wriggle their tails and swim away through the water. Yes. I think the stickleback, the goldfish, and the beetle were thinking about having tadpoles for lunch. A great diving beetle feels hungry too. His hairy back legs beat through the water. The tadpoles escape and hide in weeds. Those weeds look a lot like our plantain herb, don't they? They make a good cover, a good place to hide for the tadpoles. Soon a tadpole grows legs with tiny webbed toes. Webbed toes are like flippers. They help the small tadpole push through the water. You see that? If you know how to swim, your parents might get you some flippers because they help you move very fast through the water. They make your body glide. And that's because you don't have water going through your fingers. They're one whole piece. They, there's no water through your toes. They make webbed toes like a frog. The frog grows arms with long skinny fingers. He nibbles on plants and gobbles green pondweed. Look at those fingers. I think those little fish are not tadpoles, those are minnows. Half tadpole, half frog, he rests in the sunshine. His tail is shrinking. It gets smaller and smaller. He doesn't stay in the water the whole time, does he? He comes out into the sunshine. The new little frog sits on a lily pad. His legs are strong now. He can breathe through his nostrils. His skin is dotted with tiny gold spots. Nostrils are the holes in your nose. And when you breathe in, the air goes into your lungs through your nostrils. Frogs must keep their skin slimy. 
He hops back in the pond and swims for a while. Then he climbs onto a log. Another frog climbs up and sits down beside him. I'm thinking when our tadpoles get a little bigger, we may need to get them a large stick or a rock that they can climb out of the water on and breathe some air. Now full grown, he dives through the water. He's not afraid of the stickleback. He swims past the beetle. He's a fast swimmer. In the pond, he watches and waits. What does he see with his round beady eye? A fly lands above him. He creeps closer and closer. Look at that eye. What do you think he wants to do with that fly? But a big frog jumps up. It snatches the fly with its long sticky tongue. The frog misses his meal. Next time he'll be faster. Look at that tongue. He doesn't bite his dinner. He captures it with his tongue because it's sticky. The golden skinned frog chases a dragonfly. It lands on a lily pad. Under the lily pad are hundreds of frog's eggs. Inside each egg a tadpole is growing. Each tadpole will grow into a golden skinned frog. Dragonflies like to eat mosquitoes. They're good to have around a pond because that's where mosquitoes grow too. Oh, here is the picture word list. Let's see if we can read them. So, here's the word jelly. Can you see that? And there's the tail. There's the word tail. Here are the gills. There's the word nostril. webbed toes, eye, fingers, and tongue. Maybe you could draw a frog and write the words at for each part of the frog that you know. That would be a good thing to do. Scientists take their time and they draw what they see very carefully. <laughs>